Good morning everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It's Friday morning. It's Good Friday. Uh, day off today. Um, it's snowing. <laughs> it snowed yesterday morning too. It was weird. It was cold yesterday too. Terrible. It's supposed to be spring. But anyway, uh, nothing's right in the world today anyway. So uh, the weather's not right either. So. I wanted to do another album pull. Uh, I've already pulled it. Um, rather than moving the camera all around, and, and it's just easier for me to just go ahead and pull. I didn't look. I just grabbed a handful, and uh, we'll go over what I've pulled. Before I do, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. It's also a great coffee day. So it starts off with uh, The Fix. Uh, new wave band, The Fix, called Walkabout. has actually two albums in it on MCA Records. I got this from a collection um, that someone was giving away and it actually has another album in it called uh, Calm Animals by The Fix as well on RCA. So a twofer. I don't believe it was supposed to be in here, but uh, I'll take it. I don't have the cover, but cool, just the same. So a great new wave band, uh, British, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, English new wave band. Yes. Uh, next I have Venus and Mars, Paul McCartney and Wings. Awesome album. Venus and Mars, of course. Rock show. Cool song. Um, listen to what the man said. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. even has a poster in it as well. Um, just some of the photographs from uh, taken by Linda McCartney. I won't open it up, it's hard to see it on a small screen like that. It's on Capitol Records. I don't have a lot of Paul McCartney, but uh, what I have is pretty darn good. <clears throat> oh, that's coming up as one of my favorites. Super Tramp Breakfast in America. One of my favorite albums by the band. Of course, uh, time of the century is tops for me, but uh, this isn't too far behind. Lord is Mine, uh, song gets me all the time. Breakfast in America, of course. Um, logical song, Goodbye Stranger. I think this one uh, 
broke them commercially and put them on the map. I always try and keep my records wrapped. Keep them neat. Sorry for the noise. Ah, next. Some rock and soul. Part one, this is Daryl Hall and John Oates. Greatest hits. Uh, Sarah Smile, She's Gone. Rich Girl, Kiss on My List. You Make My Dreams. Private Eyes, I Can't Go For That, No Can Do. Man Eater, One on One, Wait For Me, which is a live version. Then a couple of uh, new songs, Say It Isn't So and Adult Education. Every once in a while, gotta love you some Hall and Oates. Again, part of that uh, about 80 albums, I guess I was given, and this is part of it. So, uh, pretty happy about that. This fine darling, Pat Benatar. She can rock it out when she wants to. Heartbreaker. I need a lover. If you if you think you know how to love me in the heat of the night, good stuff. It's on Chrysalis Records. And another one from Pat Benatar. This is uh, Precious Time. Promises in the Dark, big hit off of this one. Fire and Ice, Precious Time. Yeah. Also does a rocking version of Helter Skelter as well by the Beatles. on chrysalis as well. Need to get more female artists. I have a fair amount, but uh, there's a ton out there that I don't have and I'd like to get. They do, they have to have their fair due as well. Now, this is a fairly recent album I picked up. This is Overnight Sensation, Frank Zappa. This is on Barking Pumpkin Records. Picked in the cover. It's kind of cool. Put you back a little later. And we have the uh, Jay Gallus band. There's this freeze frame. Of course, freeze frame, the big hit off of the uh, 
of the albums as well as the centerfold. Um, great Jay Giles band. This on EMI. Melancant, the Lonesome Jubilee. Every once in a while I like to listen to uh, some John Mellencamp. Paper and Fire, Down and Out in Paradise, check it out. Cherry Bomb, uh, a lot of good, uh, and uh, Rudy Toot Toot. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good hits off of this one. Sometimes you can take or leave John Mellencamp. Uh, Mercury Records. But every once in a while, I don't mind listening. I think I've shown this one on the last one. Yes, I have. Uh, this is another copy of Paradise Theater by Styx. I got two copies of it. Don't know how. But again, kind of prevalent for this time of the what we're going through. Long Distance Voyager, the Moody Blues. Awesome progressive rock band from the UK. Kind of the grandfathers of progressive rock. Um, what's this on? This is on. Polygram. Polygram Records. The Voice, great song. Talking Out of Turn, Gemini Dream, In My World, Meanwhile, 22,000 Days, Nervous, Painted Smile, Reflective Smile, and Veteran the Cosmic Rocker. Uh, great Justin Hayward, he's amazing. Uh, yeah. Moody Blues. Another great British rock band. This is Wishbone Ash. This is called Locked In. It's on Atlantic Records. I've got uh, some live versions of Wishbone Ash. Uh, great dual guitarists. Um, yeah. Good stuff. So we have the Box of Frogs.
Uh, this was uh, formed, I guess, um, a lot of the members of these, three of the members uh, were from the Yardbirds. Um, Jim McCarty, uh, Chris Deja, uh, Dreja, and Paul Samuel Smith. Um, and it also includes John Fiddler. So uh, John Fiddler uh, is, is the vocalist on this one. Um, Jim McCarty does, uh, plays drums. Chris Dreja, rhythm guitar, um, some background vocals, and Paul Samuel Smith is bass, gu bass guitar and backing vocals. Yeah, so three of the members uh, came from the Yardbirds. Um, British uh, blues rock band and included Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck and, and um, uh, Jimmy Page as well. They all uh, were guitarists in the band and uh, great rock and band. Box of Frogs. This is one I probably wouldn't have purchased, but it was in that uh, group of albums that I was given. This is the Thompson Twins. I don't think I've even listened to this one, to tell you the truth. But one day I will. This is on Arista Records. I might recognize a, a, a song if I listen to it, but I don't recognize any of them right at the moment. This was uh, part of it as well. This is Men at Work. This is Business as Usual. Who Can It Be Now is a big hit off of this one. on Columbia Records. Another one that was part of it. Uh, I wasn't sure who this was at first, but uh, it's not a bad album at all. This is Hunters and Collectors. This is Fate. Pretty good rock and album. This is on IRS. Yeah, it's not a bad album at all. Uh, one things one once things die down and, and somehow and some when and some place and some time get back to normal I want a newer version of this album. This is Crystal Ball by Styx. Pretty beaten up cover. But the album sounds amazing. This is on uh uh A and M records. One of my favorite progressive rock bands, of course, uh, Put Me On, Mademoiselle, Jennifer, Crystal Ball, awesome song, Crystal Ball, um, Shoes, This Old Man, Claire de Lune, Ballerina. Uh, this was before uh, Tommy Shaw, this had um, John Panoza, uh, sorry, this had, um, this had, uh, Oh, sorry, it did have Tommy Shaw in it. I apologize. I was thinking it was an earlier album. This does have Tommy Shaw in it. I'm sorry. This classic, this is Bad Out of Hell. Meatloaf.
super fine album. It's on Epic Records. Super commercially successful album for the band. Uh, Bad Out of Hell, You Took the Words Right Out of My Mouth. Uh, Heaven Can Wait. Uh, two Out of Three Ain't Bad. Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Just one hit after the other. Make this my thumbnail. This is an old Rod Stewart. This is never a dull moment. This cover opens up much different. It's <laughs> a weird way, like it opens up in a threefold or fourfold almost. It opens up this way, it opens up this way. Um, I can't remember when the album comes out of here though. Oh, it comes out this way. This is on Mercury Records. Tragic early life, of course, as a lot of the hit stars from the 70s did. But uh, yeah, great album. I may do a review of that one. I haven't uh, haven't listened to it enough. I may do a review of, of that one coming up soon. I'll set with that one aside. And that's pretty much it. There you go. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed. Again, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Just a few albums that I'm showing. Um, got more to show. Uh, a ton more. But uh, it's always fun just to do a random pull. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Enjoy. Uh, be safe. Keep your distance. And we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.